Hey girls, this is Jacqueline from Action Jacqueline and this is your full body warm up stretch for better workouts. We're going to be doing 13 exercises, 30 seconds on, 5 seconds off. This is a great routine that's going to help improve your mind body connection, create a resilient body and it's your proven plan to prevent injuries and pain. Here we go, let's start with open book spine twist. Starting on your back, you're going to close your arms like it's if it's a book and then open them up. Take nice, slow, deep breaths in and out through your nose and breathe. And I invite you, once you get the rhythm of your exercise, to close your eyes, to feel deeply into your muscles. This is your time to connect to you, to your best self, and to warm up. Moving on to the other side, feel the spine opening with each and every breath. You're going to breathe deeply in and out through your nose, moving at your pace, really taking this time to listen to your body, connecting with each and every muscle and tissue and joint in your body, feeling yourself warming up, allowing the heat to move through your entire body. Now let's move on to active half happy baby pose. Grab on the outside of the foot and gently rock the knee down as far as your body can go. Remember to work into your own end range of motion. Try to minimize the rocking of the hips as much as possible and keep the ankle over the knee so that you're in a 90 degree angle. Feel the hip joint opening up nice and softly as well as those hips and the other side are going to be opening up as well. Moving on to the other side, gently grab onto your foot and begin to gently pull that knee down to whatever feels comfortable for you. Never yank or pull on your body. Always move respectfully, showing reverence to your beautiful, amazing body as we warm up your gorgeous muscles. Getting ready for your workout, or this is a perfect routine to do for the morning, so maybe you're just getting ready for your day. Kneeling hip circles. Make sure shoulders are over knees, or shoulders are over wrists, hips are over knees, and circling in one direction for 15 seconds, and then we're gonna reverse that at the 15 second. So go ahead and reverse it right here. Hold onto your core. You wanna make sure that you're bringing those core muscles along with you in every exercise that you do. It's the connection between the upper and lower body. So let's keep that connected. Checking in with your form, keep the spine long as you pull the belly button into your spine and circle in one direction right here. Arms are straight and strong and you're breathing. Nice and let's reverse the circle now going the other direction with that knee, lubricating your hip joints, getting them warmed up and also moving them in their fullest range of motion. The hips can move in all sorts of ways. And now let's move into our 90-90 stretch. If you don't feel comfortable in a full 90 degree angle with your knees, then go ahead and adjust it for your body. You may need to pull the knees in closer or the foot closer into your thigh. That's totally okay. Move to your body. Listen and learn and understand your body so that you can make the most out of every single movement. Keep breathing, keep pulling in your core, and just enjoy this time that you have. High lunge with arm circles. One of my favorite because it feels so good in your entire body. You're going to feel those fingertips reach forward nice and long and then open up, twist the spine for a nice thoracic spine stretch. Breathing gently in and out through the nose. You might also start to feel those thighs fire up, which is great. Let that heat come up, rise up, invite it in as you warm up your entire body. 
moving on to the other side, just checking your form. So knee is over your ankle and that back leg is straight and strong. So the back leg knee is actually engaged. Reach forward, circle around, feel the shoulder warming up, feel the shoulders stretching into the chest and feel those hips, that back hip is really stretching. And then that front thigh is probably feeling that heat rising just about now. Squat to stand. This is an amazing pose to not only open up your hips, but to improve your posture like crazy. You're going to be engaging your erector spinae muscles, which are the two muscles that run along your vertebrae. And many times we forget about these, but this is your chance to strengthen them so you can walk tall and proud. Standing side body bend. Reach those fingertips straight and strong and those elbows are actually straight. So feel this straight line bending over as you breathe. Pull the belly button into your spine and use the core to fold deeply into the side body stretch. You're going to use the core muscles, but at the same time, stretch the side body, stretch the lats and shoulders. Prasarita lunges. Place the hands in the middle of a wide-legged stance. Press those big toes into the floor. Really ground the feet into the floor. It's so important to connect to the earth beneath you and you can do that through your toes. Shifting side to side. Hands can be on blocks if this feels too tight for you. Relax the shoulders and continue to breathe in and out through your nose. Forward fold release. All right, it's time to really let your whole body go and open up. See what's available to you when you actually let yourself go. So lose control, open up the shoulders, release the head back as you stretch the chest, shoulders, and roll it all the way forward. Breathing deeply in and out through the nose. Find just a way to enjoy this. Find joy and happiness in your movement and in your body today. And you are all done for today. Great job in creating a strong, flexible, resilient, stretchy, beautiful body. See you next time. Great, great job. I'm so proud of you for showing up on your mat today. Remember, you can include this workout as part of your regular routine, or you can join the rest of us stretchy babes by following a 30-day calendar inside of my Stretchy Fit app. Join my app for free today. I left the link below in the description box so that you can check that out. And then as always, make sure that you hit that like button, subscribe and support my channel, and leave comments below. Let me know what was your favorite move of this workout, and I will see you in the next video. Love you so much. Bye.